uh, auctions. Mm -hmm. They happen a lot. I often don't pay attention, but there was there was a couple sports ones that caught my eye. Uh, the Hand of God goal. Are you familiar with the Hand of God goal? 1986 World Cup. Okay. Argentinian legend, the late Diego Armando Maradona, blatantly cheated and scored a goal in England with his hand. It wasn't called, but ran to the corner like he just scored legally. Oh. Uh, the jersey he was wearing, that kind of the blue with the stripes. Yes. Sorry, no stripes, just the blue. That went at Sotheby's in London for $9.28 million. It's one of the legendary uh, memorabilia items in sports history. On the other side of that, modern day Maradona, Lionel Messi of Argentina, six of his jerseys, I believe all from the World Cup uh, last December in Qatar, they went for 10 million. So it, it got us to thinking, mm. uh, if you could have one piece of memorabilia from anything, anywhere, at any time, Meredith Shaw, and money was no object, what would it be? Well, clearly because I didn't know about this, it wouldn't be this jersey. But anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> I hope who has it uh, enjoys it's it. It's a big deal. It's, it's a lot a of money. It's a big deal. It's a lot, a lot of, money of money for the hand of God. Yeah, that jersey. is a lot of money. Oh, for nine million? Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Okay. I was just checking. Um, now I don't know necessarily the cost of this. I think it's there's no cost. It's un uncostable, unpriceable, because when Oprah Winfrey. Um, went uh, off the air. She auctioned off her chairs from the studio. I didn't and, know this. Oh, yeah. And I was like, oh, so yeah, the, yeah. You, you could get the chairs from the studio audience. The, you get a car, you get a car, you get a car <laughs> chair. And uh, anyway, of course, I, I, <laughs> I don't know how much it was, but I didn't get one. But I always wish I had. Because I feel like that would be a very cool that, piece of memorabilia. Awesome. Yeah. I'm a big fan of that, like chairs. I know some people that have Maple Leaf Garden I do, too. Seats. Yes. You, I, I don't how, have one, but I, I know people who do. It's awesome. And it's in their living room. And I'm like, oh, that's so cool. Literally, yeah. go to their place, have a drink, and just look at it for an hour and a half. Mm. It's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, I would want Joe Carter's home run ball from 1993 that won the World Series. Now, there's a, the, the, the story behind this is interesting because under normal circumstances, uh, the Baseball Hall of Fame uh, Museum in Cooperstown, New York, would have this ball. Apparently, they don't. And uh, urban legend has it, Mike Timlin, who was in the bullpen at that moment, scooped it up very quickly. And uh, Joe Carter, it is believed, has possession of this baseball. And who knows what it could get on open auction uh, if it were to come up. But uh, if I could have one item, and there's many in sports, that baseball, considering what it meant to my youth, is right up there. Well, right just, up there. I just got uh, slightly nervous because I was at that game. You didn't tell me that. Yeah, I was as a kid. I was there. And I have a baseball. Not the baseball, oh. <laughs> but I have a baseball, and it uh, uh, from uh, I don't know what game. Like a John, a game. John Kruk foul ball. That but, it, but it's signed by Joe Carter. From that, okay. <laughs> Let's do, we're gonna dive into this a bit know. more. Yeah. And figure out it's not what it is. That it's not ball. that ball. No, but it's a ball from right. that season, okay. I think. All right. We're, it sits in we'll uh, now Williams' bedroom. We're late. We gotta figure this okay, out. Sorry, it's 802. No, it's no one's fault. That's a good story. <laughs> we're watching BT.